Dear D Diaries, Let's have a peek at today's top secret diary entry, shall we? <coughs> Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. What's up everybody? This is your girl D and welcome back to D Diaries where I'll be sharing with you fun and useful tidbits about my experiences that you might want to hear about as well. Make sure to pack your things because I'll be taking you on a journey that goes from one end of the globe to another. So for today's ride, I'll be giving you a glimpse of a day in my life as an international student in Canada. And if you stick around till the end, you'll also get to hear the exciting yet tiring story of our terminal hopping in Toronto, which a lot of you have been asking me about. Without further ado, let's go! Let's have a stroll on the streets of St. John's. With the onset of autumn and winter just around the horizon, it's getting extremely cold, so it's time to go through our wardrobe and pick a cozy jacket to wear. Now, let's have a glimpse of the bus stop located at the university center of my school. Make sure to bring your bus card with you because we'll be riding a bus to witness the busy downtown area of St. John's. Forgive me for the raindrops on the glass though since it was raining when we rode through here. See these colorful houses? The locals have actually given these buildings the nickname of Jelly Bean Houses, which St. John's is known for. I was extremely happy to finally witness the colorful view in person. Next stop, a peek of the university center at night. This is me walking on my way back to the residence after my night class at the core science facility. Since it gets really cold outside at night, no way I am walking outdoors all the way back to campus residence. Here. You'll see me taking one's toasty warm underground tunnels, or the tunnels for short, which connect to different buildings on campus. So they're really useful if you want to stay out of the cold, especially during winter season. Living in the residence comes with its fair share of chores. So now, before the day ends, join me for a quick tour of our residence laundry room as I use our card-controlled laundry machines to wash and dry my clothes. Still there? Yes? Perfect! Now that our quick stroll is done, let me share with you the thrilling story behind our terminal hopping experience. So as you all know, we transferred from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 at the Toronto Pearson International Airport in Canada. After immigration, we immediately ran to get our luggage and went straight to the train station to transfer terminals. To give you an idea of how heavy we are carrying, just imagine a 23kg sack of rice. Yes, 23kg for just one luggage. But we have two pieces of luggage each plus two other heavy hand carry bags. And not to mention we are running across the airport carrying all those bags to catch our flight to St. John's. I'm not sure myself how I got here in one piece. If I didn't know any better, I'd probably believe I have superpowers. Here's the most challenging part of all. We had to go down by a floor to reach our designated terminal. It could have been easier if there are elevators on site. Unfortunately, the nearest elevators were out of order that day, so we were forced to use escalators. Guess what happens next? Don't laugh, but we really did use escalators to carry our bags downstairs. And since we obviously couldn't carry all our bags down at once, we had to keep going up and down the escalator to bring our bags down one by one. It was a nightmare. And if you want an idea of how tired we were with all the bag carrying and the running and the jet lag, we slept for over 15 hours once we finally got to the hotel. And we slept through 30 phone alarms. 30. At max volume. So guys, let me wrap things up here. If you want to hear more about my experience and life as an international student in Canada, make sure to watch out for even more videos where I talk about some other topics that might interest you if you're also planning on coming to Canada to study. 
And if ever you have questions or suggestions for future content, just comment them down below or shoot me a message through one of my social media accounts displayed on the screen. But before I end this video, I want to give a special shout out to Miko de la Cruz for your support. Just a gentle reminder, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You'd really be helping me out. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you guys on my next diary entry. Love, deep.